My modest upbringing, however, did not prevent me from having very big dreams for myself. My parents taught us that we could achieve anything through hard work and a good education. I dreamed of attending the best universities and becoming a lawyer and getting an important job where I could be a leader in my community and help families like mine have a better life. But by the time I started school, I began encountering people outside of my home who had less faith in my ability to reach my goals. Teachers who didn't think that I was smart enough and would call on the boys instead of the girls, even though the girls had better grades. People who thought a girl shouldn't have ambition and they would ask my brother what he, career he planned to have, but would ask me what kind of man I wanted to marry. As I got older, I found that men would whistle at me or make comments about how I looked as I walked down the street, as if my body were their property, as if I were an object to be commented on instead of a full human being with thoughts and feelings of my own. I began to realize that the hopes I had for myself were in conflict with the messages I was receiving from people around me. Messages that said that as a girl, my voice was somehow less important, that how my body looked was more important than how my mind worked, that being strong and powerful and outspoken just wasn't appropriate or attractive for a girl. And soon enough, I started to question myself. Was I too loud? Too much? Was I too bossy? Was I dreaming too big? And for years, I would lie awake at night, and those doubts would eat away at my heart. But eventually, I just got tired of always worrying about what everyone else thought of me. So I decided not to listen to the voices of those who doubted or dismissed me. Instead, I decided to listen to my own voice and to rely on the support of the people in my life who believed in my ability to achieve my own dreams. And to do that, I listened to my parents and devoted all of my energy to, do, to doing well in school. I would wake up at four every morning to study because that was the only time that my little apartment was ever really quiet. And then I would come home and study until late at night. I made sure that I was one of the most well-prepared students in my classes. I would just keep raising my hand until the teacher called on me, and when the boys made fun of me, I ignored them. And while some people doubted that a girl like me could attend a top university, I went ahead and I applied anyway. And I got accepted and eventually got a law degree from Harvard University.